Hello everybody, this is Chad Neal. I'm the head football coach at Kilney High School. In partnership with the Kilney Parks and Recreation Department, I'm excited to bring you some videos of some drills that we do here at Kilney High School. These everyday drills that are designed to teach basic fundamentals to help you improve as a football player. We're excited to have you all come out and see us play this season at Killingly High School on the brand new turf, beginning with our opening game on September 11th against Plainfield. Hope to see you there. Have a great summer and be safe, everyone. We're gonna talk about everyday drills we can do with football to get better. Um, you do to the pandemic, our players are gonna be um, more than six feet apart right now and no masks. Um, obviously, if you're closer, you need to wear the mask um, and be safe. Uh, with us today is an Isaiah Harriet. He's a 2019 uh, grad at Killing High School. He plays at Bryant University, and he'll be going into his sophomore year. Also with us is Matthew Phelan. He's a sophomore at Muhlenberg College out in uh, Pennsylvania. He is also a graduate of 2019. Both these guys were all-state football players at Killing High School. Uh, so just some everyday drills we do, and you should do at home. Um, just to get loose to get better. The first thing we do is a high knees. Okay, and they're just gonna go about five, six yards, get their knees up, okay, loose arms, and they almost wanna pretend they're holding hammers when they come down, okay? And it's not a race, and we just wanna go those five yards, get loose, and get those legs up. Okay, you ready guys? So go. Notice them both are staying tight, keeping their um, base under them, feet into the ground, and they're not way out here, they're not flailing. Next thing we'll do coming back is just butt kicks, okay, hamstring kicks. Same type of deal, we're gonna loosen up that upper body and get the back of our heels to the back of our hamstrings. Sit, go. Good guys. Now, next thing we do is air squats. One of the things that you can do at home, especially if you don't have a weight room, is fill a backpack. Okay, get a backpack, fill it with your books. Um, another thing you can use is go get a tube of sand at Lowe's or Home Depot or someplace like that that you can put over your shoulders and do some air squats. Uh, we're looking for flexibility. We want guys that are able to sink their hips and get low in football because all the explosion in football is gonna come from the hips. So one thing we're gonna do is just some air squats. They're gonna get a little wider than shoulder width apart. They're gonna have a broad chest. Okay, chest is going to be out, eyes, chin's going to be forward, eyes are going to be up a little bit. And all we're going to have them doing it, you can weigh your backpack, keep it on your back, and you can put it on your front for like a front squat, and the same thing with the sand. And what we're going to have them do is 10 air squats, and they're going to get low and parallel each time. Okay, guys, let's do 10. Set, go. Notice both of them, hands out in front of them. Good bend. Both are getting parallel. Look how low their butts are going. Eyes are forward and good balance. This is a good football position. Good. Next thing we're gonna move into, guys come over here now, is pro agility. We, are, we want them, we're going to start with Matt. Matt's going to come to this middle shirt. He's going to get a good football position. Um, we're going to send him this way, and he is going to go to that shirt, to this shirt, back to that shirt. We are looking for change of direction. At no point is he going to turn his back to me. And when he gets to each shirt, he is going to be low, touching the ground, and staying low the whole time. Okay, we're gonna go this way first, Matt. So go! Low, 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 good. Now Isaiah's gonna hop up, give him a quick break. These are great change of direction drills. Again, pro agility, staying low, exploding out. Sit, go! Oh, yeah, we're gonna go this way. Sit, go! Great job. Matt's back in, we're just gonna send him the other way now. Face under your eyes up. So go! Good job, and Isaiah, one last time. So go!
Great job. Next one we're gonna go to is a four cone agility drill. Again, these are some things you should be doing three times a week. We're gonna start Matt here, and Isaiah's gonna stay back for distancing. And we're gonna start Matt in a good, uh, two point stance is good. He is gonna sprint to the first cone. We're gonna have him shuffle to this cone. We are never gonna cross our feet, however. And he's always going to lead with your left foot, so your feet are never coming together. He's going to back pedal to that cone, and then turn and sprint to this cone. Okay, again, all these are changing the directions. Football is really in a 10-foot box. So go! Sprint, shuffle, back pedal, sprint. Now, Isaiah is going to come in. So go! Sprint, shuffle. Back pedal and a sprint, okay? And then we can just go the other way with it uh, following that. Last drill we're gonna do, and we're gonna start them um, at each shirt. And Isaiah, you can come in too. This might be the most important. And this is something I feel you should be doing every day, and we've kind of incorporated everything as a stance and starts. Um, and we're gonna do a three point stance. I want everybody to do a three point stance. Okay, because you never know at what age position you might be playing. Our receivers go to a three-point stance at times. Our running backs do, and definitely our offensive linemen. Okay, and when we talk about a three-point stance, you want to be comfortable. So I want both these guys to have a good base under them. Okay, they can have a slight stagger, not too much. Okay, and all I want them to do is again when we did those squats, how low they can get is I want for you to do this at home is put your right hand out if you're right-handed okay and now squat down squat down and now gently put that hand in the middle and Isaiah can get his butt up a little bit good and have that flat back okay and that's a that's a great way to get into a three-point stance as a beginner the knees aren't coming in okay we're not spread out actually want our toes pointed in a little bit if we can and Good, flat back, eyes up, see what you're doing. And you see these guys um, with that, guys, relax. Okay, we'll do it again, okay? Right hand out, squat down, hand down. Good, okay, back up. We're gonna do it the opposite now, we're gonna go left-handed, okay? Because if you're on the left side of the offensive line, you might put your left hand down. Left hand out, squat, down, good. Another thing is they have a good base. We're not. We're not getting a lot of, we might be able to put a couple pieces of paper under their heel. We want a good base where they're not rocking back, rocking forward, falling on their face. Our linemen, our receivers, all our positions, they gotta be able to move laterally. You can't move laterally if too much weight in your hands. So from this, we're gonna fire out five yards. Okay, set hit. Set hit. Good, we'll turn them around, they'll get their right hand down. Right hand out. Squat. And down, set, set, hit. Good. I'd recommend filming yourself when you do these. Take a look at yourself and do about 10 a day and firing out. Thank you.